but morning guys so i didn't vlog yesterday because i was just a bit like down in the dumps you know just one of those days so yeah but i did drag myself to the gym because i wasn't gonna go to the gym so that was good and i had a really good session i did legs and cardio so i'm either hoping to push myself to go gym today i don't quite know what i would train though because i've already done back the only thing i've got left is like arms so then i was thinking maybe i could just run on my treadmill potentially but i'm not sure yet so i need to do cardio regardless of if it's here or at the gym so i have just but I've tried on that MAC foundation again, guys, and I do really like it. The plan is I'm going to go to B&M today because my mum picked up four pillows in Canterbury and one of the zips were broken. And she does have one about 25, 30 minutes away, but it is classed as Kent. So I don't know why B&Ms and like home bargains aren't in like the South London area. Like they would make so much money there. Um, so that's kind of why my mum loves coming down here as well because obviously she gets home bargains. Whereas when I didn't live in Kent, we would only go to home bargains like when we went on holiday and that was like so like special for her it was like a little treat because she just loves home bargains anyways so i need to pick up that so i'm gonna go to one i'm gonna go to the retail park that i've gone to a couple times i've mentioned in the vlog it's got like a charity should be charity shop there next matalan poundland oh mns food hall because i want to get some lunch and maybe if they've got any reductions so I'm going to do that one first and then if that one doesn't have it, at least like on the way back I can do the other B&M that's close because obviously I do want to pick it up for her. Because she was like, oh I could go this weekend. I'm like, yeah, but the one you're going to is really small, like they might not have it. And I said, at least if I just get you it, all you can do is just take it back because um, she paid on her car, so I can't really do that for her. Yeah, that's the current plan. I've just finished shooting some Valentine's Reels. I'm actually quite annoyed because I made an order on Shein, which I did get the pink heart jeans that I really love, but I also ordered them in a size down, which I really want to try. Um, ordered some hair pieces, but it was like, um, it was like outfits for like Valentine's Reels and stuff like that. So I'm quite annoyed because obviously that hasn't come yet and it should have really come like at least by today. So it's not going to come probably till like, Monday so I've just made sure that I've got myself covered for Friday Saturday Sunday and then obviously Monday I can create more content if I need to oh no I can't because I'm going out with Sprout I'll see how it goes see if the parcel does come today or tomorrow or Sunday I might have to make some more content but I haven't got any plans on Sunday so that's fine anyway um so yeah that's the plan I'm just gonna put a coat on go to the toilet give the baby some treats I do need to have breakfast but really I've been waking up and I just can't stand the thought of having breakfast so I just kind of normally have like fruit and we have like a banana, might have some pears or apples. I do some grapes, so I need to start using them up. Okay guys, I secured the goods. So I didn't actually vlog much at all because um, I felt a little bit awkward in some of the shops because it was actually quite busy. And also B&M was just shit to be honest. So the first B&M didn't have my mum's pillow, but this is what it looks like. It's a really nice one because they've changed their house from like magnolia and wood to like white walls still got the black leather sofas and obviously they got the wooden floor but um everything's like gray now so like new wooden gray table and stuff so that's quite nice because that kind of ties in like the darkness of um the sofa with like all the other grays in their living room so yeah i got that for my mum and then i got some mini jammy dodgers because i want to i'll put them in this one because i'll show you my marks and sparks goods in a sec um because i'm gonna make jammy dodger blondies on sunday and then I couldn't resist, but I shouldn't really be uh, influencing and encouraging my mum for more wool. But the uh, Cancer Research Charity Shop is really huge and they do wool in there. I mean, it wasn't cheap. It was their more expensive wool. Um, so I picked up four balls of like nice pink one because like even when I ever have kids, I love like these type of like speckled ones. I do like the plain ones, but I like ones with like colour in and you know me guys, I love colour. So I got that for if I have a girl and then I really was drawn to this one at the start. Um, but my sister was like, oh, I love the pink. So I was like, okay, get the pink. Um, but I just love the colours in that. So I thought obviously that's good if I ever have a boy. So I told my mum she has to save this for when I ever have kids. Um, and I've actually picked out some of her crocheted knitted stuff that's like fleckled with colour or similar to like this wall um and i'll put it by just if i can have you know even when i have kids so yeah kind of a bag it and obviously if i don't have kids or whatever then my mum can just gift it to other people so it's not a problem um so yeah and i just wanted to gift her something anyway so i need to do a bit of tidying up really um put some washing on so yeah i got myself some lunch and then some little bananas and then i got some protein yogurts to try from M&S. They were new. So I got a vanilla and a strawberry flavour to try. 
Um, and then I got Bernard some bacon because he's doing like this carnivore diet. So he's doing like all meat um, and he's lost eight pounds so far. So need to encourage him to keep doing it. And he loves the speckled eggs. So I've got him them as like a little treat because he's doing really well. Got myself some strawberries. And then the best part is here, guys. So I love reductions in the shops, which I've said so many times. Um, so I've got two chili con carnies for two seventy four each. The one will be my dinner later, and then I'll freeze one. I've got Bernard some mints, twelve percent fat. I normally go for five percent fat, but I said to him, I mean it's cheap as well. So I said, I'll oh, do you, like eat this, so I'll freeze that, and then we can batch make him something. And then he wanted some breaded chicken. So luckily they had someone offer. So I was like, which one do you want? He was like, get me both. So I got him some summer fried chicken. They're still not like that cheap, like three pounds seventy four, but it's a good like pound one pound thirty off. So I suppose it is good. And then I got him buttermilk one which is 374 as well. What is the date actually? Oh yeah, it is the ninth. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. So, but I didn't want to spend loads of money anyway. So I wouldn't say it's, I'd say a successful trip. So yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of tidying, need to empty the bin, give the babies their lunch, and I'll make my lunch and probably watch the challenge, I think. I forgot to show you guys my other purchase that I made in the charity shop, so. It's probably going to be like, what the hell? But I just kind of, I don't know, something drew me to it. And it's like this, like, little long sleeve top. It's from BHS, and that story's a long gone. It was £3, size 16. At least I hope it was. I didn't even check the size, unless it's on the tag. Yeah, size 16. Um, but I thought it'd be nice, like, kind of with my hair and skin tone, and, like, just tucked into jeans, like, as a casual top. But... I just really liked the colours in it. Like, it's got really nice colours in it. It's like a shimmery um, thing. I hate trying on stuff, like, when it hasn't been washed. This is like a casual top tucked in to jeans. So that's my little bargain as well. And then I wanted to show you guys that I am finally putting up my Marilyn plates. I'm just waiting for my command hooks to come. So we've got those two up, and then obviously the next one will go like it. going in... Um, diagonal. My dad had the great idea of putting command hooks instead of putting need, uh, needles, screws in the walls. So that worked out really well. I didn't even think about doing that. And then I didn't show you the purchase that I got the other day. I only picked up really because of sprout, just like a little strawberry dip bowl. I mean, it was seven pound, which is kind of pricey, but I just thought it was cute. Sometimes, you know, when you want like a little bowl, like for my fruit or something like that, instead of getting like a big bowl, I can just get one of them. So I got that. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you my lounge fly collection. I just had a random like spur of the moment, like I need to show you guys, like I need to show off these pieces and you can see like my full collection. So I do have a lot from Peter Pan, like that's my top one. Considering Alice in Wonderland is my all time favorite Disney film, I have no Alice pieces because there's none that have like wowed me enough to be in my collection, like not even a purse. So yeah and Cinderella and then I've got a few odd ones that I wanted to show you guys as well. We're going to start off with my non-Disney lounge fly purses. So I do really love Wizard of Oz so my sister, basically my sister has got me pretty much every single lounge fly piece like for Christmas or birthday. Um, so I got this Wizard of Oz purse, I absolutely love it. I settled for getting the purse over the bag just because bags are a lot harder to store for me. Um, so it has this on the back and it is a smaller purse, I do tend to prefer bigger purses but I have actually used this one before and um, that's what it looks like on the inside this isn't my favorite style purse I still have used it before as well and then I've just switched back to my OG lounge fly purse from this one so I do have a Grinch purse again same reason I it's just easier for me Oi. sorry pumpkins chewing my box um same reason again it's just easier for me to store purses and i just thought it was cute so i use this during the christmas period so it has that on the front the only thing i was really worried about was with this bit like get ruined and bend and damage but it's not too bad um and then you can see max is on the back and yes so i do have this one that i have used it has like marked on the inside there from the card wallets because these are really tight that's what it looks like on the inside super cute you get coin bit and you put all your stuff in there so i've just finished using that so this is my og favorite purse that i use all the time and i do have a spare one of it basically so i'm not going to get it out and show you guys because it is wrapped up but it's my favorite purse and i was dying i basically 
got my sister to get me this purse off Zavi. If you remember Zavi, here in the UK, it's like a HMV shop. It was like where you get DVDs, music, stuff like that. Um, and I got it off there online and they didn't have the bag and I didn't even know there was a matching bag until I came across it like months later randomly. And then Truffle Shuffle, I don't, I can't remember where I got that bag, if it was on a UK site or an American site. And then Truffle Shuffle brought it back and I was like, hell no. I said, I need a purse. I need to stock up on my favorite purse. So I've got a spare one. And I'm glad I did because I do have like, just like little bits of wear and tear on the purse, but that's what it looks like. I absolutely love it. I love the colors in this. Front is nice and plain. Like I feel like this is more like of a grown up one, if you want to put it that way. And this is a slightly different style. It's like that. I don't really want to show you guys because I've got all my stuff in there. But you've got the card slots, the coin holder in the middle and then more card slots. So yeah, it's my OG purse that I absolutely love. Okay, next up we have my Halloween purse. So. This is what I have. I just think it's super cute. I just wanted, again, another occasion one that I use during the Halloween period. Um, well, even like autumn period as well, to be fair. So this is a different style purse. And it unclips, has the card holders there. And then obviously you do have like the queen zip bit. And yeah, had that for a few years. I use it all the time. Well, I use it during that time. Right, next up again, we have one very similar to the Wizard of Oz one. So this is what it looks like. It's a Peter Pan like book one. And then on the back it says never grow up and again is the same style as the wizard of oz which again not my favorite style but still super cute and i loved the like front of this one and again they had it in a bag version but i opted for the purse next up we have another peter pan one shock so this is what it looks like i love the design of this one i've used it a few times the back looks like that and again same as my mickey one it just pops open little card holders and Queen bit. I think this one goes in the dark. I'm not 100% sure though, but yeah, again, love this one. And then this is probably one of my more recent ones, I think. I think I got this maybe last year, I'm not sure. But um, again, <laughs> love this scene. It's like one of my favorite scenes. And then the back is quite plain. And again, a nice big one um, that opens up like the same as my Grinch one, which I think I prefer this style, like in my OG purse with this, well, it's either side. I'm not sure actually, I don't mind either ones, but I do prefer long ones. And then this is my latest one, which I'm gonna get out of the packaging just for you guys. I don't like to do this. I normally keep it in the packaging, but I will be using this at some point. And this is the second, oh, it's so gorgeous. And this is the second one that I have a matching bag to. So I've only got two bags that matches with two purses. So that's when you know I love that particular style. Um, but this is part of the Loungefly Peter Pan 75th anniversary. And it's just so cute. I thought it was so different. You've got a little tink on the back. And again, haven't opened this. So I'm assuming it's the same as the other one. Oh, that's so cute. Let me take some of this out. Different colors on the inside and that's what the back looks like. Again, it's not my favorite style, but still love it and it's pink like all of the peter pan ones i have are very blue purpley based for obvious reasons love this one it's just different okay so moving on to bags i think there is one lounge fly bag that i've sold that i didn't quite love anymore and it was a cinderella one um and i needed to make room for all the uh, ever growing collection so this is the og bag the bag that i love so much the bag that i've got the most compliments on even though it's like I think just because, like I said, it feels more grown up. It's a bit more simple. Um, and I just love the colours. I just feel like it goes with everything. I just I just love this bag so much. But again, I feel like I need to order another one because, like, the corners are getting a bit scrappy now and it's my all-time fave. Um, the only thing I am annoyed about on here is that why did they not put the scene on here properly? Like, they cut Wendy off. So, yeah, it looks like that. And then you've got the sides. But the back is where it's all at. But who's really going to see the back? Do you know? So that's the only annoying thing. And then, um, yeah, it just looks like that on the inside. I probably won't go into too much detail on the inside because all my lounge fly bags are pretty much the same. Adore this one so much. And I will say that some of these, obviously, you can pick up on Vinted or eBay if you want to. If you like any of these, obviously, some of them are a few years old now. I think you can still get the pink Peter Pan stuff now. And yeah, let's carry on with the Peter Pan bags, I think. So this one... I don't know. I think it's just happened to be my next favourite. Again, love the colours because it's a bit different. So this is what it looks like. It's Skull Rock with them flying and it's pretty much plain. Um, then you've got Croc on the back. So that's why I love it. Again, I mean, the inside, if you want to see the inside, it's like that. Because I know people like the print on the inside. 
one thing I hate about this bag is the straps. They slip, like these are so slidey, they just change all the time. Whereas the other one it doesn't. So that's the only annoying thing about this bag. But again, probably my second favorite. I love it. Okay, I feel like this one will be my next favorite. Um, again, Peter Pan and it's green. Again, different color, different style. Love this one. The scene is beautiful. We've got flowers just all around. And as you can see, there's no front pocket. So again, slightly different style, which I don't mind. That's what it looks like on the inside. I think I've used this one once. I've just finished using that purple Peter Pan one. Gave that a little outing. Again, I've got another Peter Pan one that I haven't open so I will show you guys and I need to make use of this because it's pink and you guys know I love pink so I will use it a lot um but I just thought this was gorgeous again color just sold it to me love the scene it's obviously in the bedroom like golds and pinks we've got Nana on the back just love it so much what's the inside like oh I've still got the stuff on the inside oh Guys, I said the 75th, it's 70th anniversary. I was, I mean, I'm in between the two, but I should have known better. So it's for the 70th anniversary, this one. Um, and that's what it says on the inside. So again, another piece that I will treasure forever. And they do have like a satchel type bag, but I do prefer my rucksacks. But again, it's got the silky bit, silky um, strap. So I know that's gonna be a little bit annoying. How cute as a set. Okay, next up we have this Peter Pan one again. One of my favorite scenes. Guys, I lied. This is the third Peter Pan one that I have as a matching set. Totally forgot. So that's what I'm saying. You know, like I love this particular one if I've got the matching purse. And again, this is glow in the dark. That's what it looks like. Again, another blue one with the ribbon. Is a little bit annoying, but still love them. I've used this one a couple of times as well. Okay, my last Peter Pan and slightly different one. And I went above and beyond for this one. I'm pretty... Why was that stuck together? I'm pretty sure I went above and beyond for this one because they only sold this on Hot Topic, I believe. I could be wrong. And I just really loved it. So this is what it looks like. Again, you can tell this is like my favorite scene. Anything with like Big Ben them flying is like what I love. Um, that's what the sides are like. Them on the back. And it does obviously come with a satchel. I've used this one again a couple times, but I think this particular style isn't me. Ooh. Cinema ticket. Haven't used this bag probably since the 22nd of May, 2021. Just plain on the inside. I still love it, but I don't know if it's like my favorite one. Like, I don't know. It could be one that I sell potentially, but I feel like the lengths I went to to get it, you know? So my, oh yeah, my other Cinderella one I had was these style rucksacks and it was the dress on the front with like the mouses because I love them. But I sold that one because again, didn't use it that much. And I got that originally for when we were going Walt Disney World that got canceled in the end, so yeah. So this is the Cinderella one that I've got. Again, I love Halloween. So I really like the fact I had the pumpkins on. Jack and Gus are like my one of my favorite Disney characters. So I got that. We've got a little pop-up pocket this time. And then the inside is just plain blue and you've got the pocket. So again, I think I've used this once. So not one that I often reach for, but I do really love it. So I don't really want to get rid of it. Okay, last but not least, we have a bag that is, that I want to show you guys, but it's not a lounge fly bag. It is a box lunch exclusive. And again, I went to Lemps to get this. I think I got it on eBay, but I got it for a good price. And it's the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl scene, my favorite scene. And I just love this one so much. It does actually light up, I think, the battery is dead now so not that I'm really bothered um but we've got little flounder who's stitched on like embroidered on and oh I haven't even I've used this and I haven't even taken off the sticker um so you've got the front bit which I like because it's a good little pocket and that's where it has the little uh like I oh, can't show you guys the little control thing to turn on the lights on the bag and then obviously we've got the back pocket it's just plain on the inside um, and this one's got obviously the handle like a bigger handle up here and then it's different straps so you can clip them on um but they are like clip ones and again i've used this a couple times so i feel like i need to change my bags up and just you know get more use out of them but yeah they are all my lounge fly bags and purses again it's ever growing there's just, I've got to be good and I have to say no to certain ones. I really need an Alice one. 
like an Alice bag and an Alice purse because I just need to add them to my collection. Um, there was another one that I like, but obviously they do like Marvel, films, DC, um, like other programs, obviously all Disney ones. Like they have so many now and I think because they're so popular, that's why they keep bringing them out and it's so annoying. But yeah, that's all my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which ones you have. Let me know if you like any of these, like if you've got a favourite one. Let me know your favourite Disney film. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection. So I'm going to end out the vlog here. If you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.